Level up, 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 level up. Five, four, three, two, one. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Crystal, and I just want to thank you so much for coming here, for watching my videos, for commenting, for subscribing. Thank you so much. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Sophia learning. Yes, it's a very hot topic. <laughs> so I'm going to be talking about the easiest courses on Sophia learning. So from my personal experience, I'm going to be talking about the easiest courses that you can complete on Sophia. So stay tuned. So before we get into the video, I just want to say that Sophia learning has reached out to me and I have partnered with them. So I'm officially a Sophia learning affiliate. All right, so what this means is that I get a commission on anyone who joins Sophia Learning using my link. And even sign up. You don't even have to, to join or subscribe to one of their plans. Once you sign up, I will get a commission from that. So if you have not signed up as yet for your Sophia Learning account, go ahead and click the link in the description. It will bring you to the sign up page. All you have to do is sign up. Now, you don't have to pay when you sign up again you can sign up for free and you can um, look at the courses that are available and decide whether or not you want to pursue Sophia learning um, but go ahead and sign up again the link to sign up is free you don't have to make any commitments at the moment but yeah so now I'm gonna be talking about the easiest courses that you can do on Sophia learning so I'm gonna be showing you guys the easiest courses that I've done on Sophia some of these courses were more difficult than others, but I'm going to be talking about the ones that I found like super easy. And when I say easy, I also mean that it's it's quick to complete, meaning that there is no assignment associated with the course. You do have some easy courses that do have assignments, but um, I'm talking about mostly courses that don't require any assignments. Um, there is one that I'm going to mention that is super, super easy, but it has an, a very easy assignment. So let's get into it. The first course that I am thinking about being easy would have been Introduction to Information Technology. This course was super duper easy. Let's take a look at it. All right, I ended with an 89 not the highest average ever but it was super easy um, it has how many units see it's, it's a really short course it has four units and um, these things are like common sense to be honest these these things right here so each challenge has five questions this one has five questions this one has five this one has three questions I didn't have to read anything because computer basics is like things that I learned from high school and it talks about the software operating system and all of that uh, this again was super easy network and internet this again was super easy so yeah this this course was pretty easy it was pretty it was one of the easiest courses for me to be honest um, yeah so I was able to finish this course in probably a couple of hours like I kid you not I I was able to finish this course in probably three or four hours I don't remember I just I just know that when I did this course I was I, I did two courses that day like two full course that day I think I did this one and then web development in the same day web de development is another course that is easy let me go back to to that okay so web development is easy for me because I have I've, I've always been interested in web design and um, I kind of have a little bit of knowledge in it as well so it was a bit easy but if you are if you've never done web development it might be a harder course for you but again the information is, is there it's open book so should not be that difficult um, but as you can see this one has two questions, this two, two questions. That's super easy. The course is super short. Look at that. The course is like super. This is one of the shortest courses ever, honestly. Web development. This is a really short course. So um, 
it's I was able to think I think I did this course as well as in, um, introduction to information technology in the same day so those are two um, super easy courses that you can do in one day like I did both of them in one day as you can see this one only has three units and there's no assignment these two courses that I've shown you so far they don't have any assignments so you don't have to worry about you know how you're going to have to submit assignment and wait for them to grade it none of that another easy course that I found easy would have been conflict resolution so conflict conflict resolution this one is a longer course to be honest it was easy but it was long so as you can see there's a lot of things here but it was an easy course I think I was able to do this in probably like one or two day I wish this thing showed me um, like when I when I started the course and when I ended it I don't know but um yeah it doesn't show I don't I don't think it shows when you start the course and when you ended when you finished it but I was able to finish it in a, in a quick time because a lot of the things in this course was also common sense as well um, okay so let's go on to another one so principles of finance would have been another course that I found easy principles of finance let's look at that one So this course, because I did accounts with University of the People, um, I realized that a lot of the things that I learned from accounts and from the business course that I've done, um, a lot of things were in this course. So I was able to complete this course quickly as well. Um, this course also does not have any assignments. So you can just simply just go through the course and, and do it and, and, and be done with it. And this one has uh, four modules. So yeah, this one you can take probably a day or two to complete. Especially if you're a business major, you would find this one easy. All right, the next one is uh, biz introduction to business. Introduction to business. Let's take a look at that one. Introduction to business. Okay, here we go. I think this one was super easy. I think this one was one of the easiest ones. How much did I get? I got 90. Yeah, this one was super easy. Like, again, if you're a business major, then this is gonna be a walk in the park for you, honestly. It's 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 the course is short. Um, it's just four modules, and um, some of the questions, some of them have 10, 10 questions. So it's a little bit more lengthy than the others, but it's still not a lot, you know. It's um it's not bad so yeah you can check out this one again this one does not have any assignments as well so that's a good look i love doing courses that don't have any assignment because when you submit your assignment you have to wait for them to grade it and for you to pass before you can the course can come out of your your um your thing so remember you can only do two courses at a time so if you if you do two courses that has have assignment Oh my god you're, you're setting up yourself for failure right there unless you have like one of those long plans where you're you're, you're doing it for six months or four months so your time is not of the essence to you but like for me I wanted to complete as many courses I, as I could in one month so I needed to work smart so what I did was I did most courses most of the courses that I did did not have any written assignments on them and if I decided to do a, a course that required um, assignment then what I do is to do one that has the assignment one that doesn't have assignment so even when um, I submit that assignment and I'm waiting for the result I can still complete the other course and add a new course and, and continue to work while I'm, I'm waiting for my results but yeah so the next one that I found really easy was college readiness so college readiness was it's 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 like the foundation it's very similar to the foundation course that we do at University of the people it's basically talking about you know preparing yourself for college and whatnot um, oh my god I got 99% so you can tell that this one is literally a walk in the park like literally a walk in the park um, I even got a hundred percent on the final exam 
so yeah um, there this one however does have one assignment but it was a super easy assignment so let's see what it was I think the assignment was I don't know if I can see the assignment yeah so you're basically talking about yourself yeah who am I now my goals how will I get there that's pretty basic you don't even have to think about that too tough you know you <laughs> you already know yourself know what you want so you can I, I, I was able to do this in a couple of hours as well and that assignment was super easy and I just submitted it and I waited and I think they they, they grade my assignment pretty quickly as well so um, yeah definitely get this one even though it has an assignment it's a really easy assignment so I recommend it all right so another super easy course that I did was visual communication visual communication all right so visual communication it was short as well so it's only three modules as you can see and then you have the final exam so it was a short course and it was easy I got 86 um, yeah so yeah it was it was pretty easy uh, so you can do this one this one does not have any assignments either so that's a good thing about it the next one was project management project management management project management where are you okay project management so this one again is easy because again I'm a business major so a lot of these business courses I would find easy because I'm doing business and yeah I have knowledge of the most other contents because you know what I realized with business like every business course that I do they're kind of related like I did one like I did I can't think about anything at the moment but like I remember I did a course in in term one and then in term two I realized I did another business course and I realized that some of the things that I learned in term one they're coming back so it's like a lot of things are they related and the, the, the information is, re, is being repeated in a sense so that is why I personally would find these business courses to be easy because I've been studying business and I have a knowledge if you have never done business before or if you're a different major then you might find it a little bit more um, difficult but again um, the information is there so it shouldn't be too hard for you to to do it again this one does not have any assignments so that is really good okay let's see what we're looking at now project so those were the easiest courses that I found um, on Sophia to be honest for me environmental science was not bad let's see how much I got this course does not have any assignments so yeah I got 81 so it was not an easy easy course but it was not super hard either um, yeah but I did this because uh, I needed some electives so I just did that let's see these are the courses that I completed workplace communication I think that one was easy as well work please yeah this one was easy yeah this one is definitely easy workplace communication it also has an assignment at the end of the module there is an assignment so the assignment was easy as well it was not a very complicated one let me just see if I can yeah it was an easy assignment so you know you don't have to worry too much about this one it's on it's only one assignment so it was not bad at all to be honest it was not bad all right let's see what else I have here I think I did did I didn't I do English I think I, I could have sworn I did English one at a time I think I yes so yes, I did foundation of English composition. I think I did another English. Oh, I guess that was it. Foundation of English composition. Yeah. 
this one was super easy because I mean it's English it's English and I I feel like English is a super easy course because it's the, the language of your well, it's, it's your native language well not everyone in native language is English but I mean you know if your native language is English then English is, is should be easy um, yeah but surprisingly I didn't get in the 90s I got 84 but oh well um, yeah so this one though does have um, a two assignments so it has two modules but um, you have two assignments as well so with this one you know that you're going to have to wait for them to grade it and then wait again so you have two set of waiting period to, to, to consider if you're doing this one um, so if you don't I, I again I recommend doing courses that you don't have to wait for your assignment especially if you want to complete your courses within one month you just want to choose courses that don't have any assignment but if you're doing like me and you're doing 20 odd courses or more then you're probably going to run out of courses to complete that doesn't have assignment and especially if you want to get some of the major courses out like for example business law is one of my major courses I had to do it because it was a major course and it had but it had an assignment on it so you know but the assignment for business law was pretty easy as well um, it was not very difficult I got 91 for that final for that assess for that um, assignment all right so those are the easiest courses on Sophia. So if, if you're going to do any of those courses, I, I recommend doing those. Now, I'm going to talk about the hardest courses. Ooh, I must say, the hardest, the most challenging course for me on Sophia would have been this one, Introduction to Statistics. Let me see how much I got in, on this. Oh my God, I got 80% this course is not only long I think this course took me probably a couple days to be honest a couple days statistics is super hard I mean oh my god <laughs> oh my god I think when I just started Sophia I did the two first courses that I did was algebra and statistics and I, I like to take on the hardest things first and then leave the easy things for the last so I took on these two courses head-on and this was really hard to be honest it was really hard but I'd rather do it on Sophia than with the University of the People I'm pretty sure I would have been super stressed out if I was to do it with University of the People so the next hardest course that I did was definitely college algebra it was hard but um, it was not hard in terms of Oh, I, it's hard and, and impossible to do and it's impossible to learn or impossible to, to grasp the concepts no I was able to grasp the concepts really well um, but it's a lot of calculations a lot of maths oh but um you know I I passed I actually did pretty well on this I got 91 overall that's really good but it was very difficult it was a lot of a lot of calculations oh my god too much maths I hate maths so this was a hard course for me if you love maths it's gonna be a walk in the park Sophia makes it really easy though um, I, if I did this with University of the People I'm pretty sure I would feel pretty sure I would feel then we have art history ugh, one and two both of them were hella boring ugh. I mean I love art but the history of art is it's kind of boring to be honest um, so yeah it was <clears throat> It was more difficult for me um, yeah and then um, human biology was interesting it was it was a bit it was I wouldn't say hard but it was a lot of information I didn't do biology in high school so maybe that's why I find it to be a bit more difficult but um, yeah uh, psychology was nice I enjoyed psychology <laughs> yeah but it was not one of the easiest courses though but I enjoy that course and then US history one and two again boring but yeah yeah so that, that's about it I I started this course ancient Greek philosophers holy crap um 
this course was super weird. I think it was super boring too. Like, mm, I don't remember what happened. The, co the course is only one module, one module, one unit, but I decided not to do it because like, uh, mm, I don't know. I was just not feeling this course, so I, I dropped it. But you can you can check it out. It has it's just one module and it has a, an an assignment. I didn't want to do it, honestly. I didn't want to do it, so I dropped it. But yes, guys, those are the easiest courses on Sophia. Um, they have added some new courses, and um, so if you you can check those out. Remember, please ensure that whatever courses you are choosing, ensure they have three credits because. If you do one credit, then it's not going to be transferable to University of the People because they the courses need to be equal, equivalent to three credits. All right, so you always want to check to ensure how much credits the course is going to give you. But I do see that they are they are having new courses like this one. So if you're doing IT, then our computer science, you can definitely check out Java programming. Uh, I think they had a Spanish. I saw an assignment. An, an email from them saying that they had Spanish. This one is critical thinking. This should be interesting. Yes, they. Ooh, I just wish. I honestly wished when I was doing it they had Spanish. I would have done Spanish one and two. I actually have, you know, three credits from a different school with Spanish. But I think this would have been really fun to do. But unfortunately, uh, yeah. But yeah. Um, so yeah, they have a couple of new courses. That's that's really great. So definitely go in and check them out to see which course you would like to do. And in all honesty, um, the easy is going to be super objective or subjective, I should say, because guess what? Everybody, every everything is easy. Everybody finds something different easy. So if you are a computer science major, you may find the IT courses to be easier in comparison to the the business courses and if you are a health science major you may find the science courses to be easier or you might find the math courses to be easier you know so it's really up to you at the end of the day so you have to look into yourself and see what are my strengths and what are my weaknesses what courses do I excel at you know ex look at yourself when you were in high school what courses did you love what courses were you did you find easy and then you choose those courses so I'm just these courses that I've told you to do um, these are just what I personally find easy as a business administration student I also love um, IT so I found some of the IT courses to be easy as well although I only did probably like two IT related courses I did yeah, I just did two IT. I would not attempt Java programming or Python or that. I don't think so. <laughs> but these two were easy. So yes, guys, um, I hope you find this helpful. And um, again, just taking your tips and all the best. Taking these tips and all the best with your, with your studies. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching.